I'm getting joined by Xixo. Hey guys. Hey guys. And uh, yeah, we're already in the first match, so it's the rogue. And it's the rogue. The rogue. Uh, which rogue is favorite? What do you think? Uh, we have pirates on the side of um, of Forsen and Kranich not pirate here. Yeah, Kranich is obviously still playing some pirates, like you yeah. see now, but playing a miracle list. Um, I mean, you would guess that the more aggressive rogue is favorite, but I don't have too much experience in the matchup, but yeah, I would expect Forsen to have a decent edge here. Uh, look at those hands. <laughs> Yeah, it's uh, a pretty a, a hand here from uh, Forsen, also. Yeah, you could coin Baxter and play the kill the patches with your Undercity mm -hmm. Valiant. I hope that's the name. But he wants to get the patches out before he draws it, I guess. <laughs> yes. Like every time you're so scared that you just draw patches on turn 2 if you don't play a pirate on turn 1. <laughs> have, have to get rid of this. Yeah, on the other hand, um, it's, uh, it's kind of awkward right now. Are you going just for the Thrash Burglar or like the Hero Power into nothing? Yeah, I guess they take it down. Yeah. For the right cross of action. Yeah. The captain is on board. Trust yeah, I played the list and I ended up cutting the captain. I was like, not too excited about it, but. If you get it like early on while having a pirate on board, it definitely gives you a huge tempo. It's like yeah. can like sh Shadow Sun Cleric that before the nerf when it was three three, and it can buff more than one million. Yeah, exactly. And uh, yeah, there's patches most of the time just jumping out of the deck. But you play so many pirates, it's it's already gone by that time, as we can see now here. And this is like whatever always happens to work. Like you always throw backstab off your fan. <laughs> Like, we would have loved to play the backstab before the fan to kill yeah. that captain. Yeah, and another pirate's getting buffed. So, the card is getting value here. And this is the Valiant damage phase. It's not the best use for the card, but yeah, you can stay on curve till damage, that's all about, right? So, I think that play here is coin trick, pep fan. <laughs> Truck someone one out of like, that's <laughs> 21 times. So it's like uh, almost 5%. Oh. No, never lucky. He tried. Mm. I can respect that. <laughs> okay. Do you still have Kranich handy, by the way? A mobile phone? Yeah, we have Kranich's phone. We can tweet from his account. Nice. Anyway, so do you think Kranich will play around the revenge here? Like, he knows that Forsen has a random war card in his hand. And it doesn't cost you anything to play around it, but I'm pretty sure you tend to forget about it. <laughs> mm, yeah. yeah, just the SR agent. Developing another minion here. Then you have to probably cold blood and. No, wait, if you do that, you would cold blood first, right? Cold blood on your captain, trade the 2 2 in and SI it. That seems pretty mm. clean. Yeah. Yeah, why not? Like you end up with a 5-2, a 3-3, three, three, and you push 5 damage. 5 damage, uh, push, seems nice. Yeah, Sounds I like good. face. Yeah, and you want to kill off the Drake. Yeah, he's going for it. Yeah, perfectly yeah. fine, you know. So... If he doesn't throw anything, he says the pirates and the SI, they can prep whatever he gets, or prep the Shadow Strike as he gets now. So you Smash Burglar first, see what you get. That's not a play, so you <laughs> no. prep the Shadow Strike, SI, and play your pirate. Yeah, and you take overboard. But no. let's see, he plays around. Yeah, he plays around the uh, betrayal, so good on him. <laughs> yes, <laughs> playing around the trail. That's a good play. Uh, okay, both players are not having many cards left, you know? Yeah, but Poison Play will actually get some value here. Like, next time you can play Poison Plate and make it a 2 3 weapon. Yes. <laughs> For 6 mana. <laughs> yes. Yeah, but uh, what else could you do with 6 mana, right? Yeah, I so. mean, if you don't draw a minion next turn, you will probably do that. Yeah. But. Uh, 
So Forsen could attack the 1-1, one -one, then be trailed on the SI to kill the small time Buccaneer. Yeah. Hope that's the name. But you're still pretty far off Lisa, like you have six damage on hand right now. Yeah. That's the problem is um you can clear off the board here, but then you're just left with one eviscerate. And uh yeah, you're just lacking the damage. You're, you're running out of fuel basically. But both books are running out, so even the Kranich's deck has more value. Kranich's deck mostly gets value of combination of cards. If it was an auction here, but he has no other cards on hand, Force and top decks might just be able to be better than that. Mm -hmm. yeah, but you can combine poison plays with the hero power, right? <laughs> <laughs> That's a good combo of cards. Uh, I yeah, guess you don't even swing here. No. Not if your opponent is at 27 life. Yeah. Now okay, he also so gets rid of the 1-1. One -one. Oh, at 2 turns he has 10 damage, so if it was Leroy within the next 2 turns, or mm -hmm. 2 damage sources, oh. he probably wins. Yeah, but Wizard. How could he see that? Yeah, oh, I was talking about person, person, but, but yeah. <laughs> yeah, just adding up damage to the so weapon. So how much damage is this? 3 this turn, next turn 4, and turn after 5 from the weapon. That is 12 damage, then you have 10 on hand. So if you draw Evis or Cold Blood, you have Lethal over the next two turns. Yeah. So I guess you just swing here. Like I don't see a point in not attacking, I don't think. Yeah. Yeah. Play for that long of a game. Yeah, especially if you waiting some point here. That's a pretty good draw. We're filling up the board. And setting up Lethal for next turn, so now Kran is on the top deck, I think, to get out of this. Yeah, mm -hmm. Actually, he's not doesn't sweating Lisa yet, my bad. <laughs> okay. So, you can give a visit 2 2 and go face 4 4. So maybe you just YOLO and go all face. Yeah, good thing. Like your opponent's holding one card for a couple of turns now. Yeah, but it's one card, so unless it's Leroy, it's not Lisa. And? If he would be able to combo both, it would be lethal, but since he has to play one without the combo, it's two off. Yeah. So... Kranich still wins with a Viz or with Cold Blood, even if his board gets cleared. Yeah, he already played uh, one of each. Right? Yeah, I think so, yeah. So one and eight. Well, yeah. other tosses you have that help him, like, maybe, like, Arzo Drake into backstab, if... Crunch places minions now and trades, no, but no, that's going to happen. No. Maybe he has to trade if he doesn't draw it. But I think Forsen just mm. goes all phase. I don't think he has a draw in his deck that wouldn't let him at least combo both his, minion, uh, both his effects. Mm -hmm. Like, there's no just pillage or any, like, basically vanilla minion. Yeah. So I think he just can go all phase. But place around that. Two card combination being lethal. Yeah. Please Since you don't have lethal on hand anyway now, I think you play your hand. Mm. So you have to top deck lethal anyway, so like the majority of your deck, ah, maybe the force of the swast give him some sort of damage anyway, I'm not quite yeah, sure what he has left. He will have lethal next turn anyhow, so I can understand that play. And he's short. Yeah, and Quen just no way to deny Lisa here. Five attack now, but it's still not enough. Two damage short. And I yeah, think I here we go. Yeah. It's the captain and yeah, Forsen yeah, taking down Quenich the first game. So 1 0 for Forsen. Yeah, I'd expect Kranich huh? to go with Wienerlock the next game. Mm -hmm. I think that Ruid has a realistic matchup as well, but, yeah, you know, Reno's a pretty good card against face decks. <laughs> yeah, Reno is a pretty good card, and Reno's also a pretty good deck at the moment, especially against those all index, right? If you draw, good. Yeah, but Kranich banned Shaman, so his Wienerlock might not be as anti aggro attacked as other Reno lo locks. Mm -hmm. Like I think there's two strategies, basically either ban Shaman or you ban Wienerlock, and if you ban the Wienerlock, 
you don't have to care about the mirror match, then you can like play way more early game in your arena lock. Yeah, but, but since he didn't do for that, it's uh, Forsen's hand lock, right? Yeah, no, what I'm saying, since Krenjic's strategy wasn't to ban uh, the arena lock, but was to ban Shaman, he expects to play less matchups against like aggressive decks, mm -hmm. so his deck is probably probably less tacked against that. Mm -hmm. But uh, we will see uh, in a short moment because I already hear that the game is starting. Gul'dan so let's see. Yeah, cooldown, as you said. Watch your back. Uh, already two acceptable mine. cards, right? Yeah, but it's not like insane cards in this matchup. Like, <laughs> the ooze just. There is deadly poison, but the, the chance of you getting good value of the ooze. Isn't that high? Yeah, but Imperium process uh, is fine. You know, so. On the other hand, Forsen has a pretty sick hand again. So many pirates here. Yeah. It's now. Usually, would play want to play Buccaneer here first because the dagger next turn when I have the two attack dagger rather than just two uh, one more damage to face. But you want to play on the mortal coil a little, so does mm -hmm. that by playing this one two million first. The issue with playing both your one drops is you can't combo your Defire Swing Leader next turn either, so we might see a dagger into one drop and Defire's the turn after. Yeah, you still push enough damage here. Yeah. I think 5 damage for turn 2. That's uh, reasonable at least. Yeah, considering it's only one card you've played so far. <laughs> yes. So I guess you'll see the Ooze here. No? Yeah. Actually, it doesn't make sense because you want to play Ooze. The turn you attack into the minion because then it only has one attack. So, force and be like, okay, I'll just you know, save my dagger, leave my minion at three attacks. So, the mm -hmm. imp boss almost dies when it trades into it. Yep. But you only take one damage. Yeah. And as we see, Swarm Ooze is getting better over time here. Okay, so Force and considers playing on the Demon Rust here. You could do that by playing Sap. But. Yeah, but. Sap isn't too bad, right? Yeah, Greenwich has used his coin, so that is one more turn you have before Reno can come down. So you might play for a more board-centric game by sapping here. Yeah, and I think if you if you use Sap as a tempo player, which you should in this matchup, um, then it's right about now, right? Yeah, I'm not sure about this. I think this was supposed to go phase. <laughs> <laughs> and then on the Sap can't go phase, right? Yeah, on the other hand, it <laughs> makes the next turn for Quenage more awkward since he doesn't give him the speed drop back to play now. That's a really weak turn. Yes. Especially because... Uh, he oh, just live tap turn 3. That's so bad. Oh, yeah. that's a pretty good draw. I mean, it is weak to Demon Rust or Hellfire, but... Yeah, he can still push the damage. Yeah, he doesn't play the swing leader because of that. That is a lot of damage. That is 12 damage, is it? Yeah, so he gets him to 6 HP on turn. <laughs> into Krenjic's turn 4. Yeah. So he has played 3 turns so far and is on 8 H uh, 4 HP, no, 6, my bad. But yeah, and as you said, Swampu is still in his hand. Therefore, that it was a keep. Not doing too much here. And that's a concede. <laughs> Oh man, <laughs> those pirates. What happened? Happy Beast of Winter Way happened, I guess. <laughs> uh, yeah, it's kind of fitting they gave us this emote at the same time as they gave us patches. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, well, well played, Blizzard. And uh, yeah, Forsen is leading 2 0. What happened? I mean, I guess pirates are pretty good. Like, mm. getting a 3 1 1 with charge on turn 1 basically every game. I take that. Yeah, that's, that's just enough for what. And uh, so, uh, what's left? The Druid is left, right? Yes, I think it was Kant Druid. I'm not sure if he plays like the full combo, just part of the combo, but mm. we'll see. Yeah, and how, how, how does it end up here? Like pirates again? I mean, uh, I think pirates are. I'm not sure, the matchup's probably pretty what even, considering yeah. if you get like Rampage to Swipe, mm -hmm. you're in a decent spot. Yeah. But Raven Idol keep or not? Usually I don't keep Raven Idols in matchups where I want to play turn 1 Living Roots. Mm -hmm. But I'm not even sure if you want to play turn 1 Living Roots against Rogue if you go first because you just play it, they 
like ah uh, maybe since you used to have it like against work you just play it and they deck on turn two and don't care about it but since they want to play minions on turn one maybe it is a play now yeah so I like the card itself in the Q and meter, um, especially on ladder, because you meet so many uh, really fast decks and so many really slow decks, so you can um, put whatever is uh, good in the situation. Yeah, that's the back on you. And he is in charge now. <laughs> yes. Okay, so you yeah. consider playing the, uh, the wild was all the hero power here. Like hero power on a one drop is pretty clean, but since your curve says Wild Crows, Fentrill, Nourish, I guess you listen to your curve. Yeah, but your curve says you don't take six damage. But yeah, but this is like you never get bored this way, do you? No. Uh, and your next turns are kind of odd, right? Wait, I don't understand what's happening here. He was oh okay. Wait, no. Hmm? I. I totally disagree with this play. I think your lines were either to coin code for the play Defiant Swing Leader, have a 5 1, a 2 2, and a 2 1, yeah. since the opponent can't swipe yet. Yeah. Or you just play the Ooze and next time play Horse Rider coin code on the Horse Rider. But I don't really understand this line. Um, yeah, it's, it's kind of strange. You could have done the same thing just by playing the Ooze the turn before yeah, and push one more damage. You just wanted to go for the code block play uh, on the Horse Rider. Yeah, no, no, I mean, you can play Ooze on turn 2 and turn 3. Uh, Horse Rider coin cold blood. Yeah, exactly. And you push one more damage. You let him remove it, but I don't know. Let's not commit that much right away. I'm yeah. pretty sure we will see the innovate fan duel here. Yeah, it's going for it. Of course it does. So next turn, um, he could play Nourish and Feral Rage at the same time. I mean, he does expect that. Get removed. It's already dead on board. Obviously, if it just like your opponent just takes us, everything in, you're yeah. happy with that. Yeah, yeah. But it's very unlikely for us and ignores it here. Exactly. So I expect him to play probably the ringleader, eviscerate, and trade the patches in. Mm -hmm. You don't come with your defense ringleader, obviously, but you still have five damage on board plus your dagger. That's fine enough. You can clear the board, push some damage to the face. Yeah, I think he's considering it. Just uh, see him hovering over the cards. No, he's hovering over zero power and I don't really understand <laughs> why that is. Sometimes zero power here. Wait, is he actually considering it or is he just... <laughs> yeah, I don't even know what's happening, okay. It's just hovering over everything basically. Yes. Yeah, it's just a play. So I crunch down to 15 HP again. And his hand is pretty bad. Damn, will we see a 3 0 with Pirate Rogue <laughs> from Porson? Just before the match with, uh, with uh, Eloise, he said, um, I'm just gonna win the whole group, not the match. He said, I'm gonna win the group. So um, maybe he's right here. Yeah, Granit would have liked to have uh, Ancient of War there. If he has an Ancient of War, he could ramp with the Nourish and maybe play Fire Rage this turn. And just oh. set up for the war, but since he doesn't have it, he feels like he has to draw. This is a pretty good turn again. It's 6-6. Six, six. And swipe. Living with would be a really good draw here. Yeah, that's, Ooh, that, that also works. That also works. You swipe, burst, Moonfire, and then you win the game. Mm -hmm. I guess it's really, really good for him now. He doesn't have a way to get on board the next couple of turns. But who needs board, right? But yeah, I mean, you have Hellwitch to get some time, but yeah, you need Force to not get put good cards for this board now. Yeah, but you have so much life now with the double Feral Rage. Oh, that's a really bad draw. It's probably the worst draw in the stack, the back step here. Yeah, there's no other just dead card for the next turns. Hmm. Yeah, if you Azo Track, you can't really hero power. You could play Azo Track and then Fairy Rage for armor. Yeah, I think it's double armor. Okay. And, uh, yeah, clearing off the device uh, ringleader. For the wild. Pretty clean here in this play. 
Yeah. The best draw next turn would be the Innervate, like Aviana, Innervate, Azotrek, and then play whatever else you get. Mm -hmm. Of the Azotrek would be pretty smooth. Oh, some Buccaneer. Yeah, maybe just a little bit too small here. So let's see what we get. Oh, that's pretty good. Oh man. So do you nourish here? I think you nourish because the Azotrek doesn't do much. You can play your cur like. The full hand anyway next turn, so you might as well just oh. two or three cards that I want to remove more right now. Will we get another heal? Yes. I think you would prefer a taunt here, honestly, but heal is also good. Yeah, you, like can, you can taunt up next turn, right? Oh yeah, but I mean, your opponent will never put enough damage this turn to set you up to like kill you with an eviscerate or whatever. So if he gets a spell that gives you taunt on another minion, then the world so you have two taunts, you basically <laughs> never lose. But yeah, the heal is. Most likely enough as well. But so would you have gone for the for the for the minion here? Because it's no, no, I mean a spell that gives taunt. Oh ah, yeah. Okay. So yeah. Yeah, here we you go. Just start with Aviana, can also track, so you get on the also track, and then play the rest of your hand. Yeah. yeah. That's such a strong. I think the correct play here is to go Happy Feast of Intervale. <laughs> yeah, just uh, to return the favor, yeah. right? But uh, maybe he just saves it for the very last. Yeah, it's like you still want to win two game more games through it. Can do it after that. Yeah. yeah, right. But you could do it now, right? Nope. Kranish uh, doesn't seem to be the guy that uses emotes. No, I think he just. Didn't expect Forsen to concede so fast. Forsen played around it pretty well. <laughs> yes, <laughs> just dodged the emote. <laughs> yeah, well, so played. well played to Forsen there, yeah. Yeah, but uh, the, the pirate rogue did work for him. Uh, uh, the pirate, uh, sorry, the pirate rogue, of course, did work for him. Um, he managed to win twice. Yeah. And uh, was yes. a little bit short here. His handlock beat the druid in his last match against Eloise, but Eloise's druid was a very weird list. Yes. Yeah. Put it that way. So I'm not sure how. It will do against Kranich's list. Yeah, we'll we have see. more like turn a mid range pressure with two giants, but is it enough? Yeah, may maybe, maybe not. Uh, I think we'll see. Um, so, uh, yeah, just uh, head over to the game. No, not yet. <laughs> uh, yeah, no. Okay. Versus Magni. Yeah, maybe we were just a little bit fast. Too fast. I must protect she the said. World. Seriously. <laughs> okay, and it's the barrier. So we expect some pirates here as well, right? Haha. <laughs> Aha. I'm in charge now. Who's in charge? I'm in charge. Oh, you're in charge. Oh, yeah. Okay. Happy we still fin today. Oh, that's actually a good hand, right? Small time buccaneer on top. And yeah. He's in charge again. I think he's in charge most of the times. Yeah. Yeah, Forsen has gotten patches off his deck every game so far. That's very likely to happen, but... And that's just a good curve here. Yeah. Cringe like, is in a decent spot, I think, if it was wild course now, but other than that, Ascent seems too slow. Didn't attack with the weapon, just to have it up. Yeah, you kind of want to kill my keepers in this matchup. And he's just hero powering, and that's. No, he's gonna use Moonfire to kill the Switch Hue, but. Do you go for it? Yeah. For the wild. That's alright. Yeah, there's no really reason to save Moonfire yeah. here. Not saving it up for uh, the Maligos combo, and um, <laughs> I don't know, 12, 13. Thinking. Yeah. So, I'm pretty sure we will see the first swipe after that. Yeah, you could very ready as well to protect your coin. But um, I would like to see the two pirates here. Oh. Maybe. I mean, then no, you maybe. definitely see a coin swipe. Yeah. Yeah, maybe. The, yeah, it's fine. it's fine. He has a second favorite, and he has like probably a bunch of torts in this deck. You don't need HP, Tron is enough in this matchup, so you could Feral Rage here, take two damage and leave the 1-1 one, one up to save your coin for Nervous turn 4. Mm -hmm. Gun ramp up. Yeah. yeah. 
Yeah, but I'm not sure. It's, it's kind of yeah. scary because uh, Parador has such an explosive start here. Yeah. Like, if he gets a 10 mana, he has a pretty good turn with Aviana Khan, but <laughs> getting there. <laughs> yeah, that's. Uh, I think that's uh, the hard part about it. Just like last game, turn 4, 15 HP. Yeah. Oh, thank you. Oh, that's a pretty good draw. Oh, man. <laughs> That's uh, basically the not draw here, so here we go, 4 damage to the face. And uh, getting down to elf uh, 11 HP. Elf, elf, So... You have two plays here, Mulch, Hero Power, or Bottom White Buddy. <laughs> I will go for the Mulch. Bottom White Buddy is pretty tempting. Yeah, it's, uh, it's a winner's match, so um, Crunch, if he loses this one, we'll go to the Decider's match. Yeah, in that match he played against either Ecop or Eloise. Mm -hmm. He won against Ecop before, he didn't seem very scared of Eloise's decks, so should still be a decent chance he makes out of group, but losing is never fun. <laughs> I'm pretty sure about that, yeah. I tried it yesterday. <laughs> you it's tried it fun. yesterday. That Trust sounded me. so sad, I just <laughs> wanted to <laughs> just leave it here. But Happy Feast of Winter where he is, uh, yeah. <laughs> and she's also happy with the friend. So just like expected, wasn't on a screw. Yeah, I don't think anyone doubted that. As expected.